This is the Twisby Diamond 580 Rose Gold Smoke 2 pen that I bought a little while ago. A very neat looking pen. There was only one problem with it. The nib. This tine of the nib is slightly bent down and it scratches when I write. So we're going to solve that problem today. We'll do some test writing to see exactly how the nib is affected. All right, so. That scratches. That scratches. That doesn't. It's definitely the upstroke that is scratching. Ooh, you can feel that biting on the way up. All right, we'll do something about that. This is the ink that the pen is currently inked with. Iru Shizuku, Ama Iru by Pilot. Sky blue, a lovely pale blue ink. And the nib is fine. The first thing I'll do is I'll take the ink out of the pen, making sure not to put it back into the original bottle because we don't want to contaminate it or the possibility of contamination, I'll put it into a different file and then I'll reload the pen from the file once I need the ink back in again. All right, let's get the nib out so we can repair it. I've cleaned most of the ink out of the pen. It's a little bit caught in the barrel there. I'll remove the nib and the feed by pulling them straight out. Put the barrel aside and what we'll do then is we're going to put the nib and the feed into this ultrasonic cleaner. Put them in separately. Now turn it on, get it ready to start, and I'll move the ultrasonic cleaner over. You can see it removing the last little bits of ink. You'll be able to see the ultrasonic removing the last little bits of ink out of the nib and feed. leave that on for 300 seconds then we'll come back take the nib and the feed out and dry them and move on to the next step right time's up so I'll use a pair of tweezers to remove the feed and the nib then we're going to have a closer look at the nib see how much it's bent out of alignment. We'll remove the ultrasonic, put it aside for the moment. Dry the nib off.
very hard to see with the naked eye. We'll put it under a microscope in a moment and we'll see exactly what the problem is. Dry the feed off. Put it aside. Now we'll get our microscope set up. So we can see what the nib looks like. Our tweezers to move the, the nib round back just a tiny bit. The left hand tine is bent down a little bit. So I'll see if I can get a photo of that and then we'll start straightening the tine. Right, I've got a reasonably good photo under the microscope. You'll be able to see what that looks like. I'll add it to the video. Now, put that aside. This is the first tool we're going to use. For the nib. Pick up the nib. Place it into the channel down here. Put our magnifiers on so we can get close. What we're going to do, we're going to use this burnisher tip to flatten out this tine, the left hand tine of the nib when you're looking at it. So we're looking at that side over there. So we'll flatten them out. Down at the we want to get the tines aligned down at the bottom. That's looking better. Now, pop the nib on there. We'll get out a different shape burnisher with a roller on the end. Turn that round. Magnifiers on again, and then using this burnisher, we'll then roll across each tine individually and flatten it down onto this shape here on this board. Okay, what do we got? Where's our Hold it still. Be careful.
careful not to knock the tip of the nib. Time for a closer look. And the big light too. Big magnifying light. Hmm, looks better. Right. Doesn't take very much and you've got to be very careful using those burnishes because you can break your nib or bend your nib out of shape very, very quickly. Right, we'll pop them aside again. Before we go any further, we'll clean the nib using our brass shims. I haven't done a 580 before, so I don't know what size shim we'll need. We'll start off with a one thou and then move up and see how we go. Very tight up there, we'll slide it in that way. One thou, any more than that, we'll start opening the tines up and it'll write wetter. What we want, we'll slide that in a couple of times. That'll remove any dirt or anything else that's caught in there. That'll set it up for the next part. We've now realigned the tines. What we're going to do in the next video is we're going to take the scratch out of it. Down there. Pop these away again. And there it is. Now that we've realigned the tines in the nib, first thing I'll do is realign the nib and the feed. Get them aligned. Then put them back into the barrel. push them home. I'm looking to make sure that the feed is equidistant to the left hand tine and the right hand tine and then it's aligned. Right, the nib is back into the pen. I'll now re-ink the pen and then we'll start getting rid of the scratchiness. Right, I've re-inked the pen. And I'll tell you why. There's two ways that we can do the next step of removing the scratching. Put the cap on that for a moment. This is a micro mesh pad we're going to use. 12,000 mesh. Micro mesh is best used wet. You can use it dry, but it works more efficiently if it's wet. So there's two ways to do this. 
you can either leave the pen empty and then wet, put some water on the micro mesh and using a figure eight pattern, run round it very lightly. And then the problem with that method is once you've done that, you then have to fill the pen with ink and test it and see how it works, see how it feels and then empty the pen again back into the water ink again and try it again and so on however if you use ink in the pen then you can go straight from the 12,000 micro mesh onto the paper so I'll do another couple of figure eights and see if it feels any better already after what we've done Got a better ink flow, that's for sure. Still scratchy. Right, we won't use any water on this because the ink will lubricate the micro mesh. So, I'll get a start. Medium pressure, we don't want it hard. We'll do a dozen figure eights for a start. and then test the nib again. Still a little bit scratchy. Do another go. It's feeling better. Let's try that. Twisby Diamond 580. That's larger writing so that you can see it. I normally write far smaller than that but you probably won't be able to see it. Twisby. Diamond. 580. With Pilot. Emma. Uru. Sky Blue Ink Iru Shizuka. That writes way better than it did before. The scratchiness has gone out of the upstroke. Writes a little bit wetter too now that I've put a shim up the center of the nib. Yes, much better. All right, that's how easy it is to take the scratchiness out of a pen nib. Very easy.